A Mir Mansour quits on his stool after five rounds against Dominic Brazil. This was a pretty entertaining fight while it lasted. Uh, Dominic Brazil, he didn't show much in this fight other than a heart and confidence because he was dropped quite heavily by Amir Mansour. I believe it was in the third round and he was in trouble several times in this fight. But he never looked sorry for himself. His confidence level stayed high. His body language never looked like he was resigned to defeat. He just felt as though eventually he's going to get control of the situation. And eventually he did. Amir Mansour is an old man, 43 years old. But he's got, he's got a style which would be difficult even for a young man to maintain. Mansour puts... 100% into every punch he throws just about. He's a very intense fighter. But he's not like a Mike Tyson, for example. When Tyson would throw those big heavy shots, Tyson's body didn't look tense. He was nice and loose and relaxed when he was throwing his big punches. Amir Mansour looks forced. He looks tense. His body looks like... Uh, like he, he, he's having to force every punch out and he's trying too hard to punch hard that's how he's always looked to me and that type of intensity of uh, trying to literally knock down a whole house with every punch that takes so much energy out of you it's unreal <laughs> particularly when you're missing punches and Mansoor is one of them kind of guys who just let it go. He don't hold punches back. He lets it go. Even if the punch miss, he's going to miss, he lets it go anyway. He's always been like that. And as I say, for a young man to fight like that would be... It's difficult for anyone to fight like that. But for a 43-year-old man to be throwing punches like that, just loading up on every single shot, whether it misses or not, he's still going to throw it. That It's not a sensible way to fight. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Not sensible at all. And he tried to bang Dominic Brazil out of there in the third round after he dropped him with a, a right hook. He went all out and he basically blew himself out. The fourth round he came out. Again, he probably still won the round, but it was noticeable to me that he was looking very tired. And then in the fifth round... He got hurt for the first time, Mansoor, or at least I thought he got hurt. And he was looking very, very ragged, very tired. Every opportunity he got, he was just diving forward into a clinch with Dominic Brazil and trying to buy time. And he was just looking more and more ragged. And Brazil wasn't looking great himself, but he was looking more composed and more in control of what he was doing. And, you know, the fifth round ended. And Mansoor didn't come out for the six. Don't know exactly what his reason was, uh, exactly what happened. What was the main motivation for him quitting? Because, you know, this is a very tough man, Amir Mansoor. This is a guy who went to prison and was one of the toughest guys in prison, according to him. And throughout his boxing career up, up, career up until this point, he's proved himself to be a very tough guy. So he's not the kind of guy who you would expect to be quitting on his stool. Especially not in a fight he was winning, at least on the cards. He might not have been winning at the point he decided to quit. I mean, I think the, 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 the tide of the fight was turning. That's how I saw it. So you know, he may have been winning on the cards, but I just think the, the flow of the action was not going Amir Mansour's way at that point. He was holding the side of his jaw. I think the right side of his jaw when he was sitting on the stool and talking to his trainer about you know, what was wrong with him. And he had an ice pack on the right side of his jaw as well. So I don't know whether he's going to say that he had a broken jaw or there's some type of injury there. I don't know. First and foremost, I have to just say, I hope he's okay. I hope there's no serious injury there. Whether he quit or not, regardless, I don't want to see nobody get seriously injured in boxing. Yeah, I don't want to see it. So I hope he's going to be okay. Um, but did he break his jaw? Did he just feel like he'd expended all his energy and he knew he didn't have 
enough left in the gas tank to go 10 rounds? I don't know. You let me know how you feel, people. Drop your comments in the comment section below. How did you feel about this fight? How did you feel about Dominic Brazil's performance? To me, Brazil showed composure and he showed heart. A guy like that getting dropped as heavy, heavily as he did, he didn't do it, David Price, and panic. And, you know, get all worried like he did against Tony Thompson. No. Dominic Brazil, if he showed... He, he, didn't, he didn't show much. He's never impressed me, to be honest, so far. His skills or anything has never impressed me. But his composure, I think, was quite impressive. His heart was quite impressive. He never panicked at any stage. Yeah, this might be quite controversial, what I'm about to say, but it's the truth. Dominic Brazil, in that one fight, showed more heart than Vladimir Klitschko showed in his entire career. <laughs> I know people are going to take that as another dig, an unnecessary dig at Vladimir. But Vladimir is going to have to show that type of heart for the first time ever if he's going to beat Tyson Fury in the rematch. But that's a whole other video. <laughs> you know, I know he was dropped by Sam Peter, but he was scared to death in the Peter fight. He was just trying to keep Peter on the end of the jab and keep him away. Dominic Brazil wasn't like that. Brazil got cracked hard. And he still wasn't afraid of getting any exchanges. There was no intimidation factor. His eyes didn't, didn't become big like some saucers <laughs> and start thinking, oh my God, stay off me. And any time a glancing blow hit him, he wasn't taking a knee like Vladimir did in the, in the San Peter fight. No, he was in there fighting. And you know what? Very few fighters have got the heart to, to go toe to toe with a vicious puncher like Amir Mansour. Dominic Brazil did. Yes, he's the much naturally bigger guy and whatnot, but he had been dropped. And I'm telling you, me and my saw hits as hard as probably most heavyweights out there. So, yeah, Brazil showed heart. He showed mental toughness. As far as his skills, mm, not much there, really. <laughs> you know, not yet anyway. We'll see how his career progresses. So let me know how you felt about the performance in the comment section below. Where does Amir Mansour go from here? What do you feel about him? quitting on his stool is that just a cardinal sin in boxing is that the no-no is there no circumstances in which a fighter can quit let me know how you feel it's your boy Hartman I'm out